an interesting strategy. Stutzman with it in the corner, kicks it out for Sturgeon. Cross court pass. Stroud with it, throws it inside. Shot is up and good by her ball as she gets another two and she's got the first five points of the game for the Lady Wolf Pack. So now Alandra with the ball up near half court. Back over to Shelby. Back to Alandra. Into the corner for McKenzie. Looking inside at Ava. Can't get it to her. Now it's swung all the way over for Madison. Now just kicking the ball around um, the three point line now. As McKenzie looks inside, throws it in for Ava, and it's going to be taken away by her ball, and now she will take the ball off the floor. So now Sturgeon with it up top, gives it off. Stutzman puts up a three-pointer. It is no good off the back of the rim, and a foul will be called. As it was on 31, Natalie Stroud, her first. So a 5-2 ball game to start off the first two and a half minutes. So now Shelby brings it across half court, gives it to Alandra. Back over to Shelby. Shelby goes to the corner for McKenzie. McKenzie cross court pass for Alandra. Has to go up and get it. Now Alandra with it again. Looking inside. Throws it up for McKenzie. Passes too high and out of bounds. And it will be another turnover. Yeah, and you can see how this Crawford length is affecting the Lay Senators here. They're just trying to squeeze in these small passing lanes, but Crawford's definitely being the aggressor here on defense. Kirsch now gives it off, and now uh, Sturgeon's got it. Now it's back over um, to Kirsch. Kirsch dribbles around Madison, gets inside, kicks it out. Three-pointer by Herball is no good off the rim. Offensive rebound, and the layup is good by 31, Natalie Stroud. Now Lady Senators trail by five. Shelby with it. Gives it to McKenzie in the corner. Back to Shelby. Kicks it across for Alandra. Alandra goes to the corner. It's going to be tipped and taken away by the Lady Wolf Pack. As now they push it ahead quickly. Euro step shot is good by Sturgeon. That was a move right there by Sturgeon. Cutting through the defense like a surgeon. Like the run there, Titan? No, yes, I, I, I did. I, I'm as, pretty proud of it. As now a 30-second timeout will be called by the Lady Senators, so um, right now Lady Senators trail 9-2 to two with 4.24 to go in the first quarter, so not the best start. Lady Senators are already with three turnovers. Yeah, they're definitely going to want to shape up their offense as that length is just destroying their passing. Yeah, Crawford sitting in a 2-3 zone right now and just using their length to their advantage and getting in the passing lane, tipping pass is something that we said that they need to, that the late Senators need to be careful of throwing the ball away. Well, and also give some credit to Crawford here. They've 
been aggressive with their length and not overshooting passing lanes, but they get in there and at least affect them. Both teams coming out of the timeout here. Will be the Lady Senators' ball. And Brown will inbound here. So now it looks like um, Crawford changes up their zone as now uh, Stutzman's up top trying to deflect some passes. Here comes a trap. Shelby gets out of it, gives it off to Madison. Madison now tries to um, get it back to Shelby. It's tipped out of bounds. We'll stay with the Lady Senators. So now Madison takes it out, gives it off to Shelby near half court. Shelby tries to dribble around Stutzman. Now a double comes. Dribbling around now gives it off to Alandra. Alandra now dribbles it around. Right now you just see the two guards just dribbling it around. And now there's a pass inside. It's going to be tipped out of bounds. We'll stay with the Lady Senators this time, taking it out underneath the basket. And this is a heck of a defensive game plan here by Crawford. They are being aggressive and attacking the ball handler. Good pass inside. McKenzie can't get the layup to go. Battle for the rebound. She gets it back. No good. And Crawford will control this rebound with Curse getting it. Now gives it off to Sturgeon. And Sturgeon gives it back to Curse. Curse goes to her, her ball. And now a cross-court pass for Stutzman is good, and she gets her first two of the game. So now Shelby brings the ball back up. And that's going to be knocked out of bounds, or a kick ball violation will be called. As now 44 Ainsley Nance comes in for the Lady Senators, coming in for 32 Ava Woods. So now Madison takes it out, gives it off to Shelby near half court. Now Crawford is back to, um, off their zone and now they've gone back to more of a what looks like a uh, shorter 1-3-1 one, one zone so now Madison with it in the corner cross court pass Alandra gets it gives it back to Shelby up near half court back to Madison Madison looking inside gonna take a few dribbles and tries to kick it back out Alandra ends up getting it near half court and now back to Alandra she puts up a three pointer it is no good battle for the rebound and it will be controlled by the Lady Wolf Pack is now Sturgeon takes it the other way. Sturgeon slows it down, gives it or throws it into the inside. Back out, Sturgeon puts up a three-pointer. It is no good. And Shelby Griffiths comes in for the rebound. As now Shelby pushes it the other way. Shelby gives it off to Madison. Madison couldn't handle the pass and may have missed out on a shot. But McKenzie now with the three. It's an air ball offensive rebound. Madison puts it up and gets fouled and now go to the line for two shots. Good hustle there by Madison to get in, get the offensive rebound, and then draw the foul there. Which, if you can't shoot past their length, then for, try and draw a foul and get an uncontested shot, I guess. That was her ball's first foul of the game. She's got the most points right now at five for either team. Madison's first shot is good. Right around the rim and fell in. Now Madison with the shot. It is up and good. And now oh. a mishandled ball on the out of bounds or throwing the ball in bounds as her ball just kind of dropped it and then it is a turnover and it will be the Lady Senators ball underneath the basket. So now Madison taking it out. Madison throws it for Landry in the corner. She puts up the three. It is no good off the rim. Ainsley Nance with the rebound. Ainsley tries to get it off to Madison. It's going to be taken away. Another turnover by the Lady Senators. Now pushing it the other way qu quickly. Setsman throws it in the corner. Now it is back out for Curse. Curse kicks it over. Her ball with it. Guarded by Shelby. Now it's kicked back over. Now Crawford throws it in the high post. Kicks it back out. Now throws it inside. It's going to be oh. knocked out of bounds by the Lady Senators. It looked like they may have been able to get the steal there, but they weren't able to handle it, and it goes out of bounds. Yeah, it looked like both the Brown twins collided on that one going for that steal, but now they'll get back on defense. 
It's now cursed with it. Throws it in the corner. Herball puts up a three. It is no good. Offensive rebound. Shot is up no good. And uh, Mackenzie Brown comes down with it. Kicks it ahead for Alandra. Alandra goes all the way inside. Stops. Kicks it back out. Madison with it. Kicks it across court for Shelby. Shelby looks inside for Ainsley. But is now going to dribble it back up. And try to um, set up some zone offense here. Now Shelby gives it off to McKenzie. McKenzie throws it into the short corner for Ainsley. Ainsley looking for somewhere to go. Throws it to uh, Madison cutting in. Kicks it out. McKenzie puts up a three-pointer. It is no good. Battle for the rebound as Madison ends up with it. So the Lady Senators get an extra possession right there. So now Landra with it. Looking inside. Kicks it back over for McKenzie. Shelby now with it. Looking for somewhere to go. Dribbles left. Gives it off to Landra. Now back over. Into the corner for McKenzie. Madison now with it up top. And Ainsley comes and gets it. Gives it off to Alandra. Alandra goes to the corner. McKenzie throws it inside. Now nowhere to go with it. Good pass there, but Alandra was going to shoot this three. It's no good. And another offensive rebound for the Lady Senators. Throws it inside for Ainsley. Ainsley gets double teamed. Gives it off to Shelby. Layup is no good, but a foul is called. And she'll go to the line for two shots. And you see this Lay Senator offense is just having trouble getting any types of shots off. The length of Crawford is becoming a bit of a problem for them. They can't move their offense that much. So now her ball picks up her second foul. So now Shelby Griffith's at the free throw line. Shot is up and no good. So now two substitutions come in. For Crawford as the Lady Senator Ava Woods comes back in. Sturgeon comes back in for the Lady Wolf Pack. Second free throw is good. So now it's a 11 2 5 ball game. Lady Wolf Pack on top. 45 seconds to go in the first quarter. Ball is swung down to the corner. They throw it inside. Ball is tipped but recovered as House got it and now gives it off to Sturgeon. Back out, House puts up a three-pointer. It is banked in. So now Lady Senators with it as Shelby now takes the ball off the floor. Gives it off to Elandra near half court. Throws it in the corner, Madison with it. Madison looking inside. Now it's swung back out. Cross court pass for McKenzie. McKenzie now gives it off to Shelby up top. Just 12 seconds to go in the quarter. Lay Center is just standing around and not really knowing what to do. Shelby now with it near half court. Five seconds to go now. Alandra now with it. Still up near half court. Madison with it. Throws it inside. Oh and a foul is called as McKenzie goes up for the shot at the buzzer from the high post. And that's a sloppy mistake there by Crawford. Being a bit too aggressive knowing that the Lay Senators had to get their shot off. But you definitely don't want foul in that situation right there. So now House picks up her first foul after just coming into the game and hitting that three-pointer. And now Mackenzie Brown goes to the line. First free throw is good. And she'll have one more for a chance to um, cut the lead to seven. And it is also good. So Mackenzie now with four points, the leading score for the Lady Senators. So that will conclude the first quarter where the Lady Senators trail the Lady Wolf Pack 14 to 7. We'll now go to a commercial break and come back for the West Washington Senator live stream. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday, 9 to 6, and Saturday, 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family-owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today, 812-883-4154. And we're back here to start the second quarter. Lady Senators trail 14 to 7. And Titan, what did you see from the Senator offense that caused them to get into this early deficit? Well, they had four turnovers there in the first quarter due to um, some of Crawford's length getting in the passing line, taking away some of the passes. 
Um, however, for Crawford, um, Taylor Herball has five points and has looked pretty well on offense and defense, has two fouls and is not in the game right now. Yeah, and part of the problem is the Lay Senators aren't contesting the three enough, which nearly cost them last game in their close win over Edinburgh. It's now back into action. Mackenzie Brown with the ball. Mackenzie looking for somewhere to go. Dribbles left, gives it off to Shelby. One problem the Lady Senators are having is they're running their offense really far from just the three-point line as most of the time when they have the ball, they're out near half court as now Lily Thompson with it who just came into the game. Ava now with it, gives it off to Shelby. Shelby guarded heavily by House. Shelby looking to get the ball in the wing. Kicks it back over for Madison. Now Lily back with it. Lily gives it off to Ava on the wing. Ava looks inside, kicks it off to McKenzie up top. McKenzie over for Madison. Madison now with it. Madison now get, dribbles the ball to uh, midcourt and now gives it off to Lily. Lily looking inside. Lady Senators with a very slow paced offense. So now Madison gives it off to McKenzie. McKenzie goes for Shelby on the right side. Ava now with it. Ava dribbles, gives it back to Shelby. Shelby with the ball now up at the logo. So now Shelby gives it off to Lily on the right wing. Now back up for Madison. Madison looking inside, nowhere to go with it. Now Madison dribbles it inside the three-point line, probably one of the first times this quarter they've got the ball in there. And now ball's on the ground and a battle for the ball and it will be a jump ball and it will be another turnover by the Lady Senators as it will be a Lady Wolfpack ball. And there are just no holes in this Lay Wolfpack defense. The Lay Senators are going to need a lot more movement if they're going to get this offense going. So now Crawford with the ball as um, Sturgeon brings it up. Gives it off to House. House goes back to Sturgeon. Sturgeon looking inside. Back over for House. House now dribbles left side, kicks it in the corner, Curse with it, throws it in the high post, Stutzman's shot is up and no good, and a rebound by Lily Thompson as there is a foul called on Crawford, will be the fifth team foul. That was on uh, 33, Rickenball, her first. So now Crawford will put on a little bit of pressure here. Madison taking it out, gets it into McKenzie. McKenzie looking middle, gives it off to Madison in the uh, middle of the court. Now gives it back to McKenzie, throws it across court for Shelby. Shelby now looking inside, throws it up for Lily. Lily kicks it out. Now cross court pass Madison with it, puts up a three pointer. It is no good. And um, Crawford able to come down with the rebound as Curse ends up with it. Now Crawford pushing it the other way. Sturgeon with it. Now kicks it off onto the wing. Sturgeon gets it right back. Looking inside as now um, Halsbog, who just checked into the game, gets it. Now ball swung into the corner, back out. Play centers look like they um, are in a little bit of a different defense now as a foul is called. Foul was on 22, Madison Brown, the second team foul, but also Madison's second foul. As now Landry comes in for Madison. Now Sturgeon to take it out, and a good tip pass by Shelby knocks it out of bounds, so Crawford will have to re-inbound the ball. Now Sturgeon taking it out again. Throws it up top, pass is taken away by Lily Thompson as now Lily pushes it the other way, kicks it across for Shelby. And a travel is called as um, Shelby kind of caught it awkwardly and couldn't really do anything. Yeah, and that's just another tough break for the Lay Senators. They finally give fast break out there and then end up turning it over on the travel. 31 Stroud comes back into the game. He's now Sturgeon, brings it up. S scoreless in the second quarter through three minutes by either team. It's now Sturgeon looking to get it in the corner. They throw it into the paint. Now kicks it back out. Sturgeon with it again. 
Gives it off. Now into the corner. Stutzman puts up a three-pointer. It's no good. Offensive rebound, and the layup is good by Stroud. And there was just no contest there on the defensive rebounding by the Lay Senators. Got to get to the ball quicker. Landry now with it. Gives it off to Lily. Looks like they're trying to get the ball inside for Ava, but just haven't been able to so far. McKenzie now gives it off to Ava near half court. Shelby now with it. Back over for Landra. Landra looking inside. Kicks it back out. Lily with it. Now back over to Shelby. Shelby goes to Ava on the on the right wing. Ava dribbles inside. Kicks it back out. So now Landra's got it on the right side of the floor. Lily now with it up near half court. Ava now with the ball on the left wing as Lay Centers again um, just trying to get somebody open, um, taking it pretty slowly here. Now McKenzie with it up top. Now gives it off for Ava in the corner. Ava kicks it back out for McKenzie. Back over to Shelby at the logo. Lily puts up a three-pointer. It is no good. Offensive rebound. Ava Woods with it. Puts up the shot and gets it to go. I love the hustle there by Ava Woods. Getting the offensive rebound and going straight back into the paint. Get easy two. And now the ball is going to be out of bounds and it will stay with the Lady Wolfpack. So now Crawford will take it out. Sturgeon takes it out. Throws it up top for her ball. Kicks it back across for Kirst. Kirst dribbles inside and a foul is called. That was on three. Alandra Johnson gets her first. It's now Sturgeon to take it out again. Wolfpack in the box set. Kicks it out. Stutzman with it. Now over for her ball. Throws it up top for Stutzman and gets it. Puts it up. And it's no good. Rebounded by Alandra who will now push it the other way. Alandra gets the ball in the middle of the floor. Now gives it off to Shelby up top. A minute 30 to go in the first half. Now Lily with it on the left side of the floor. Back over to Shelby. Shelby gives it off to McKenzie on the right wing. McKenzie looking inside. Gives it back to Shelby up top. Now over for Landra. So now Ava with it in, in the corner. Back out 
Shelby now with it up top. Lily now with it on the wing. Now a bounce pass inside. Ava puts up the shot. No good, but a foul is called. And she'll go to the line for two shots. Yeah, and that's a nice little offensive sequence there by the way. Senators get some movement, get into the paint, and draw a foul. Now Ava at the line. First shot is good. So now Ava with one more for a chance to make it a two point game. It is also good. So now um, Lady Wolfpack with it. They throw it inside. But passes kicked out. Sturgeon puts up a three pointer. It's good. So now Lady Senators with it. Shelby will bring the ball up with 40 seconds to go in the half. Lady Senators now trailing by five. Landra with it. Gives it off to Lily in the corner. Lily looking inside. Throws it in for Ava. Ava gets it. Puts it up. No good. Offensive rebound. It's knocked out of bounds. And it will be Lady Wolfpack ball. And you know, as we look at it, the late Senators are pretty fortunate to only be down five here. Their offense has looked stagnant for most of the game. And their defense has been pretty well, but they've also given up a few too many threes in this game. So now Sturgeon dribbling the ball up near half court. 15 seconds to go in the half. Now ball is swung into the corner. Now it's kicked back out. Her ball with it, throws it in the high post. Stutzman puts up the shot from the elbow. It's good. And now just five seconds to go, and now Shelby brings it up. Two seconds to go, throws it up for Lily. It is knocked away, and that will be the end of the quarter. As that will also be the end of the half, where the Lady Senators trail 21 to 14. Yeah, and the Lady Senators will need to get their offense moving a bit more. But I feel like they can do. They've had some good offensive sequences here in this game. Okay, so now we'll head to a couple of commercial breaks, and then we will come back for some halftime stats and the start of the second half. Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions big and small to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. 
give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. And first now, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2600. That's 812-849-2670. Here at WWSR, we have all the hits from the 80s to today. We're also rocking out with some of the classics. There are also exclusive interviews with some of the West Washington's head coaches during their seasons, breaking down the best of the upcoming matchups. And there's more programming to come, so stay tuned with WWSR being available on the school website, Alexa, or your favorite device. And for those interested, sponsorship slots are available. We chose West Washington because of the academic excellence to help prepare me to be a doctor. We chose West Washington because of the quality of our athletics and because of the championships we've won. We chose West Washington because once you step into these walls, you're family. Thirteen thousand feet has a way of testing a man's soul. After all, you were never meant to take on such an endeavor. That long drop is what separates human from superhuman. And here we are, right here, right now. You're good at motivation, we're good at your insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. You could call After two years of study and research, the Washington County Community Foundation launched its first proactive initiative, Youth First, in 2007. Their goal was to create a positive environment within the county where youth are valued, their needs come first, and investments are made in their well-being. In 2011, Youth First merged with the YMCA to best serve youth through their common commitments to youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. This merger allowed for further utilization of Youth First missions and the possibility to grow development assets in our community more initially. Closing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. And we're back. We got a few minutes here before the third quarter starts. And Titan, just what did you see from the West Washington Lady Senators offense here tonight? Offensively, they've been trying to slow it down and trying to get good looks, which has worked at times, but also they've got a few turnovers just kind of throwing the ball away, throwing the ball into the passing lane, and it's just being taken away by the Lady Wolfpack. So offensively, they've been taking it slow and now trail 21-14. to Yeah, and defensively, it's a bit of the same mistakes that played them against Edinburgh. I mean, you got to contest the three a bit more. They've guarded the paint pretty solidly, but the threes are what's really hurting them here in this game. The points for Crawford County, um, Herball and Sturgeon both with five points, Stroud and Stutzman with four points, and Riley House with three points. For the Lady Senators, um, 
Mackenzie Brown has seven points. Ava Woods has four points. Madison Brown has two points, and Shelby Griffiths has one point, making it a 21 to 14 ball game. Foul trouble. Um, Madison Brown has two fouls, and Taylor Herball has two fouls. So as long as neither one of them pick up an early third foul, then they should be good for the rest of the game. And besides that, everybody else just has one foul. Yeah, and that'll be something to watch. Is how aggressive are both of these teams going to be here? Because so far, Lady Crawford has been the aggressor here, while the West Washington Lady Senators have at times looked a bit stagnant on offense, but at times they've looked like they can get it into the paint and score tremendously. You also might see the Lady Senators try to push the ball out quickly and get down before um, Crawford sets up their zone, which is something they've been running for most of this game. Yeah, they do look to have the speed advantage here, so maybe they can try and get a bit more aggressive on defense, try to force some turnovers, and maybe that'll jumpstart their offense here a little bit. Also, something that could help with the offense is just forcing turnovers defensively. Once um, in the first half, Lily Thompson got a steal and then um, got it down for a layup. So we'll see what the Lady Sanders can do defensively forcing turnovers. We'll now go to a um, quick commercial break, and then we'll come back for the third quarter on West Washington Senator live stream. After two years of study and research, the Washington County Community Foundation launched its first proactive initiative, Youth First, in 2007. Their goal was to create a positive environment within the county where youth are valued, their needs come first, and investments are made in their well-being. In 2011, Youth First merged with the YMCA to best serve youth through their common commitments to youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. This merger allowed for further utilization of Youth First missions and the possibility to grow development assets in our community more initially. Here at WWSR, we have all the hits from the 80s to today while also rocking out with some of the classics. There are also exclusive interviews with some of the West Washington's head coaches during their seasons, breaking down the best of the upcoming matchups. And there's more programming to come, so stay tuned with WWSR being available on the school website, Alexa, or your favorite device. And for those interested, sponsorship slots are available. And we're back. Here we've got the third quarter about to get ready to roll. Lady Senators trail here, 14 to 21, to the Lady Wolf Pack from Crawford County. So, Titan, what do you think these Lady Senators need to do to get ahead here? Um, they need to pick it up on offense and get some better looks and um, defensively force turnovers to try to get down, um, get fast break points before the Lady Wolf Pack can set up their zone. Well, and the best Offense can often be a good defense. Those turnovers will certainly help if they can force them. So now will be the Lady Senators ball coming out. Shelby Griffiths with it. Now gives it off to Alandra on the left side. Shelby gets it back. Gives it off to Madison. Madison looking inside. Looks like Ava may have been double teamed right there in the post. As the Lady Wolfpack, they don't want to let Ava get the ball down there. As now Shelby's got the ball. Gives it off to Madison on the wing. Back over to Shelby. Alandra now with it. One dribble, picks it up, looks inside, gives it back off to Shelby on the far side. Now Madison with it. Madison takes a few dribbles, kicks it back out. As now Shelby has it near half court. Back over to Alandra on the left side. As now Alandra um, dribbles back out. So now McKenzie with it, gives it to Alandra. Alandra over to Shelby. Shelby gives it off to Ava on the wing. Back up top for Shelby. Yeah, and this Lady Senators offense seems to be stuck in a sort of paradox here. They got where they just keep ending up right back outside the three-point line with Shelby and Alandra passing it back between each other. As now McKenzie puts up a shot, it is no good. Rebounded by Herball as now Herball takes it the other way, gives it off to Sturgeon as she crosses half court. Now Sturgeon gives it off to Herball. Ball's in the corner for Stutzman. Sturgeon now gives it back to her ball. They throw it inside for Stutzman. Ball's on the ground and it will be a jump ball as it will stay with the Lady Wolfpack. Pack. 
So we'll be Crawford County ball taking it out underneath the basket. Her ball taking it out. Lady Wolfpack in a box set here. Her ball throws it straight out. Sturgeon gives it inside her ball, puts up the shot. It's blocked away, rebounded by Shelby Griffiths. And now it will be a jump ball. It will go over to the Lady Senators. And a couple good defensive plays there by Mackenzie Brown. First, forcing the near steal and then getting the block. Now it looks like um, Crawford County changing up the defense. Uh, Lady Sanders throw it inside as Mc or Madison Brown gets the easy layup. Yeah, and that was a great feed there by McKenzie, getting her sister the open look. So now Lady Senators change up their defense a little bit, try to trap, and now her ball gets the open three. It is no good as an offensive rebound for Sturgeon missed it, and a, another offensive rebound as now Kirsch will go to the free throw line. Yeah, and the Lay Senators have been getting crashed here on the glass. The Crawford County Wolfpack has just been much more aggressive with their offensive rebounding. Now Curse's first shot is up, and it is good, giving her her, her first point of the game. She'll have one more for a chance to get it back to a seven-point game. Two minutes um, gone here in the third quarter. That shot is good. Making it a 23 to 16 game. So now Shelby will bring the ball up the floor. Now Shelby gets it back at half court, gives it off to Alandra. Alandra throws it into the, into the corner. McKenzie with it. McKenzie back out for Alandra, swings it over for Shelby. Shelby now throws it up for McKenzie, passes a little too high, and it was another turnover as now the Lady Wolfpack push it the other way. Kirsch thought about a three, dribbles the baseline, throws it inside, and almost a great pass there by Stroud. Had um, her ball open, but just kind of threw it right out of bounds, right past her ball. Yeah, and we had two instances of almost great assists that just led to slight turnovers there. Hopefully both teams can get back on the offensive end and try to make the best of their opportunities. Now Madison with the ball in the corner, gives it back out for Alandra. Alandra gives it back to Madison. Madison looking inside but just doesn't have anybody there. Shelby now throws it to McKenzie. McKenzie gets it back out for Shelby. Shelby takes one dribble inside, passes deflected there. She's able to get it back. Alandra with it, gives it off to Madison. Madison throws it inside for Ava. Ava puts up the shot and gets it to go. Ava now with six points as Sturgeon takes it the other way. Lady Senators now again looking to trap out of their zone. And there's a drive baseline shot, no good by Kirsch. Ball is tipped away, out of bounds, and it will be the Lady Senators ball. Now Lady Senators just trail by five, 23 to 18. Yeah, Shelby Griffiths giving it to Landra Johnson to start this offensive possession here. Shelby now gives it back to Landra. Landra looking inside, gives it off to Madison on the left side of the floor. Madison gives it back to Landra over to Shelby. Shelby back over for Landra into the corner. Madison puts up a three-pointer. It is no good. Rebounded by Stutzman, who will now take it the other way. Stutzman dribbling up the left side of the floor, gets, kicks it out for Kirsch. Now back outside, her ball with it. Now Stutzman within the corner. Back out to Kirsch. Her, her ball throws it inside. They kick it out. Kirsch thought about three, gives it right back inside for Stroud. Stroud puts up the shot. It is good. Giving Stroud six points. Now I have a 30 second timeout called by the Lady Wolfpack as they still um, lead by seven points. Yeah, and we saw some good defense there by Ava Woods. Just a really good drive by the Lady Wolfpack to get the layup. What do you think Myers is saying to his team now as they get ready to come out of this 30-second timeout? Well, I would probably be telling them that they need some more movement on offense as um, they try to get, um, get the ball into the high post and um, on the block, but... Sometimes the cuts are a little bit late, and sometimes the ball is just passed off the wing before the players even have time to cut. So 
I'd say it's a little mixture of both cutting harder and being more patient um, to get the ball inside. If I was the Lady Senators, for most of the season, their offense has ran both through both Ava Woods and Mackenzie Brown. I would try to get them both a bit more involved here to start the third quarter, which they've done with Ava Woods. I'd like to see Mackenzie try and get a few more open looks here. So now Landra with it. Shelby now with the ball. Landra gets it back. Looks like the Lady Senators have tried to change up their offense a little bit. Now with four out and um, one in with Ava kind of going in and out of from three and into the paint as Ava now puts up a long two. It is no good. And Crawford comes down with the rebound as now Kirst pushes it the other way. Kirst now dribbles it back outside. Gives it off for Sturgeon. Sturgeon back to Kirst. Kirst thought about a three. Gives, gives it in the corner. Her ball for three. No good. Battle for the rebound. And it is um, Crawford County who comes down with it as Stroud gets it. Kicks it out. Now pass inside for uh, Stutzman. And inside it's no good by her ball. Can't get the and one. But she will go to the line for two shots. Yeah, she she seemed a tad unhappy about not quite getting the lucky roll there, but she'll get a chance to get two points here at the line. Now her ball's first shot is good. Now with six points on the game. Now a substitution for Crawford County as Tim House comes into the game for 20 Sturgeon. Now her ball, second shot is up and it is good. So now it looks like House is um, pressuring the ball full court now as she just checks into the game. Shelby gives it off to Madison. Madison gives it back to Shelby. Shelby goes back to Madison. Madison throws in the corner for Ava. Ava now tries to kick it out and gets it back to Madison. Madison now dribbling it up. Gives it off to Elandra at midcourt. Landry now dribbling it around. I don't know. It's kind of interesting to watch House work out here. She is just moving all over the place on defense. As that pass is turned over by the Lady Senators. Pushing it ahead and will be out of bounds. It will be the um, Lady Wolfpack ball as number one Lily Thompson checks into the game. Coming in for 12, Shelby Griffiths. Now her ball to take it out on the sideline. Her ball gives it in for House. House now brings it up slowly, looking off to the right side. Gives it off for her ball now into the corner. Stutzman with it, gives it back outside for House. House now throws it inside. Stutzman with it, back out for House. Puts up a three pointer. It is good as House knocks down another three. And House instantly comes back to pressuring on D. Now Madison gives it off to Lily who just checked in. Under two minutes to go now in the third quarter. Lady Senators trail by 12. Now Lily with it gives it off to Elandra. Now into the corner as Ava Woods takes a baseline as, and a foul is called on her ball. That will be her third foul. Now substitution as Sturgeon comes in for her ball. He just picked up the foul. It's now Madison to take the ball out. Madison throws it up for McKenzie. McKenzie's able to get it. McKenzie gives it off to Elandra up near half court. Elandra now off for Madison. Madison throws it inside for Ava. Ava turns, kicks it back out. Lily puts up a three from the top of the key as an air ball. And now it is out of bounds, and it will be the Lady Wolfpack ball. In the JV game, we saw um, Lily knock down four out of five threes, but so far here in the varsity game is 0 for 2 from the three-point line, just not been able to find it yet. Well, and that's been true for most of this Lady Senator offense. After hitting a few key threes in the last game, they just haven't been able to find their sweet spot from behind the arc so far. So now House with it for the Lady Wolfpack. They throw it inside. It's going to be taken away by Madison. Gives it off to McKenzie now. 
McKenzie back to Madison as Madison will take the ball up the floor, guarded by House. Madison slows it down, gives it off to McKenzie. McKenzie throws it in the corner for Lily. Lily looking inside, bounce pass inside for McKenzie and gets a shot to go. Good pass and good shot there by McKenzie Brown. And that's the kind of offense that the late Senators have had here at times tonight, but they need to get a bit more consistent with running it. Now a timeout will be called. It will be a full timeout called by the Lady Wolfpack. So we will head to a commercial break and come back for the remaining time in the third quarter. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. Here at WWSR, we have all the hits from the 80s to today, while also rocking out with some of the classics. There are also exclusive interviews with some of the West Washington's head coaches during their seasons, breaking down the best of the upcoming matchups. And there's more programming to come, so stay tuned with WWSR being available on the school website, Alexa, or your favorite device. And for those interested, sponsorship slots are available. Expertise. And we are back. About 40 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Lay Senators trail here 30 to 20, but their offense has started to get a bit of, can't quite think of the word, momentum going. That's the word, momentum. And as it, soon as I say that, it is a steal and Madison Brown gets the two points. That's something the Lady Senators definitely need. And now trying to trap 25 seconds to go now in the quarter. House with it. House gets trapped, but able to get out of it. Now they trap again, and ball is barely gotten out. Ball is tipped, and Lady Wolfpack still with it, but struggling to get the ball near the basket. Ten seconds to go now in the quarter. Still guarded heavily by the Lady Senators. They throw it inside. Ball is caught by Stuckman, puts it up with the left hand. No good. Offensive rebound, and the layup is good. And that will end off the quarter with a um, shot by Stroud off the offensive rebound. And that's just a tough possession there for the Lay Senators. Nearly had the stop on defense and then a last second board and bucket. That will end the third quarter as we go to another commercial break and you're listening to West Washington Senator live stream. After two years of study and research, the Washington County Community Foundation launched its first proactive initiative, Youth First, in 2007. Their goal was to create a positive environment within the county where youth are valued, their needs come first, and investments are made in their well-being. In 2011, Youth First merged with the YMCA to best serve youth through their common commitments to youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. This merger allowed for further utilization of Youth First missions and the possibility to grow development assets in our community more initiative. Here at WWSR, we have all the hits from the 80s to today, while also rocking out with some of the classics. There are also exclusive interviews with some of the West Washington's head coaches during their seasons, breaking down the best of the upcoming matchups. And there's more programming to come, so stay tuned with WWSR being available on the school website, Alexa, or your favorite device. And for those interested, sponsorship slots are available. And we are back here to start the fourth quarter. Lady Senators trail here 22 to 32. But it's not an impossible climb to make, but it is an uphill climb. This is now Lady Wolfpack with the ball. Lady Senators looking to trap again, but uh, Lady Wolfpack break it easily and get the two points for Stutzman, her sixth point of the game. Now Landra with it, cross court pass for Madison, House still in the game, trying to force a turnover by the Lady Senator guards. Landra now gives it off for McKenzie. McKenzie now gives it back to Landra. Lady Senator is really far from the basket here. Very, very hard to score from all the way out here. 
Langford gives it off for Madison now on the right side. Lily now with it back over for McKenzie. Now Landry with the ball on the left side. Landry dribbles, uh, puts up a three-pointer. It is no good. Rebounded by Stroud. Now Stroud loses it out of bounds, but a foul is called. That was on Mackenzie Brown, just her first foul of the game. So now Lady Wolfpack with a 12-point lead. As now House brings the ball up the floor, gives it off to Sturgeon. Sturgeon back to House. House back to Sturgeon. Sturgeon looking inside, gives it back to House. Now just some passing between the two guards as they go off to Stutzman in the corner. Stutzman drives baseline, tries to kick it inside for her ball but can't get it and now the turnover and lay center to take it the other way. Lily now with it on the uh, right wing. Takes a few dribbles, kicks it across court. That's gonna be taken away by her ball getting in the passing lane. She takes it all the way and will be fouled on the layup. And we'll go to the line for two shots. Now her ball at the free throw line, chance to um, expand the lead here. First shot is no good as 32 Ava Woods comes back into the game for 44 Ainsley Nance. Now her ball at the line for her second shot. This one is up and good, giving her eight points on the game. Now Madison gets it, crosses half court. Madison gives it off to McKenzie. McKenzie now looking somewhere to go, dribbles it to the middle of the floor, gives it off to Alandra. Alandra now almost travels there, and Madison gets the ball on the left side. Alain or Ava with the ball in the corner. Kicks it back out, passes tipped, and they will say no over and back there, but it is thrown away by Alandra, and House gets it and gets the layup to go. Well, you can tell with the inten intensity that House has brought here in this game, eventually she was going to catch the Senators lacking there, but hopefully they can get a bit more solid offense as Myers quickly calls the timeout. And 12, Shelby Griffiths will check into the game. It will be a full timeout, so we'll head to another commercial break as you're listening to West Washington Senator Live Stream. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. Or just visit our website. Here at WWSR, we have all the hits from the 80s to today. While also rocking out with some of the classics. There are also exclusive interviews with some of the West Washington's head coaches during their seasons, breaking down the best of the upcoming matchups. And there's more programming to come, so stay tuned with WWSR being available on the school website, Alexa, or your favorite device. And for those interested, sponsorship slots are available. And we're back. About six minutes here to go in the fourth quarter. Lady Senators trail by 15, down 22 to 37 with... Crawford out on top. Will be the Lady Senators ball coming out of the timeout, trailing by 15 at 37 to 22, 601 to go in the game. So now the Lady Senators get the ball in for Shelby. Shelby guarded by House, who's um, brought the defensive intensity, especially in the second half. Shelby now tries to throw the ball into the high post. The ball's on the ground. House gets it, gives it off for Stroud. Stroud pushes it ahead. Her ball with it, puts up the layup. It is good, but a charge is called. And now her ball is down as she picks up her fourth foul right there. 
Not sure quite what happened there, but it seems as though her ball will be good to go for this next possession. I believe they will say the basket will not count. It was definitely close there as if she got the ball up before, um, before the charge was committed. Now Madison with it crossing half court. Madison gives it off for McKenzie on the left side. McKenzie tries to get back to Shelby, but is denied by House. Now finally gets it off to Shelby, handing it off. Now Shelby gives it off to Madison on the right side of the floor. Madison dribbles inside, kicks it into the short corner for McKenzie. Now Lily with it in the corner. Lily picks it up, gives it across court to Shelby. Now McKenzie with it on the left side, gives it in the short corner. Ava with it, throws it inside for Madison. Madison starts to go up, and a foul is called. And you love to see some of the intensity that these Senator fans are bringing here tonight. Fun game, that's for sure. As now it is in, as Lily puts up a quick three, it is no good. And a jump, but no, a foul will be called on the Lady Senators. Looks like Ava Woods was a bit too aggressive there on trying to get the loose ball. That is her third foul of the game. Five minutes to go in the game. Now the Lady Senators will pick up and press a 1-2-2 press. As Stroud will take it out. Stroud gets it in for Sturgeon. Sturgeon guarded by uh, Lily as Stroud gets it back. Back to Sturgeon. Now uh, Stroud with it. Can't really handle it. Is able to control it. And now a timeout will be called right before the pass by Stutzman. Which Lady Senators definitely had a chance to take away right there. Will just be a 30 second timeout. Yeah, and that's a smart timeout there by Crawford. It looked like they were going about to get trapped in the backcourt, but they were able to expertly avoid that. So now you might see um, Crawford try to set up a little bit of a press break here as they know what the Lady Senators are going to try to do. Lady Senators down by 15 with five minutes to go in the game. Definitely need to start. Um, Picking it up on defense and forcing turnovers and getting some easy baskets. And you have to imagine that's what Myers is preaching to his girls as they're about to break this time out. So now Stutzman will take it out as the lay centers now back off their press. Might see them try to trap in the half court right here as that worked right before the end of the first half. Is now it lo that looks like th what they're going to do is uh, Madison and McKenzie now try to trap Sturgeon. Sturgeon gets it off for Stutzman. Stutzman pass fakes, gives it back to Sturgeon. Sturgeon splits two defenders. Cross court pass now from Stutzman and layup is good by Stroud. Stroud now with 10 points on the game. Is now Lay Centers will take it the other way. Shelby with it, guarded by House. Shelby crosses half court. Gets the ball to the middle of the floor. Gives it off to uh, Madison on the right side. Madison throws in the high post for Ava. Ava turns, puts up the shot. It's no good. Rebounded by um, the Lady Wolfpack. But now a battle for the ball. And a foul will be called on, um, I believe, Madison. And it is her third foul. That was good hustle there, but, though, by Madison. Trying to get the loose ball. Just, again, a bit too aggressive there. So now Kirsch will bring the ball up the floor, gives it off to Sturgeon. Sturgeon looking for somewhere to go, throws it on to the wing. Now good pass inside. First Stutzman and she gets an easy two points. So now Shelby will get it and she'll bring it up the floor. Gives it off for Madison. Ladies and still now trailing by 19. Really need to pick it up here offensively offensively if they want a shot back in this game. Now McKenzie with it. McKenzie gives it up for Madison. Madison throws it inside for Ava. Ava kicks it out. McKenzie puts up a three-pointer. It is no good. Another air ball. And um, now Lady Wolfpack will take it the other way. Kirst gives it off for Sturgeon. Sturgeon guarded heavily by Madison. Ball is oh. kicked and now is tipped. And it will be an over and back and it will be the Lady Senator's ball. 
now three, Landry Johnson, 34, Abby Young checking into the game for the Lady Senators. So it will be the Lady Senators ball. Madison to take it out, gives it right off to McKenzie. McKenzie goes back to Madison. Madison swings it across for Shelby. Shelby goes back to Madison. Madison into the corner for Alandra. Alandra looking inside, but is going to decide to just kick it back out. Madison back to Alandra. Alandra now dribbles right. Pass fakes. Give it, gives it off to Madison up top. Three minutes to go now in the game. Alandra now looking inside. Gives it off to McKenzie. Swings it across. Gives it off to Shelby now. And now kicks it back across for Madison. Belanger now with it on the left wing. Belanger dribbles, gives it off. Now pass inside. McKenzie with it, kicks it out. Belanger puts up a three-pointer. It is no good. And an offensive rebound there. And the layup is no good by Madison Brown. As now uh, Stutzman gets it, gives it off um, for Halsbog. Now, you um, might see the Lady Wolfpack kind of slow things down a little bit here with a 19-point lead. As there's a three-pointer that is good, which just expands their lead. As Kirst gets her fifth point. Now, Alandra pushing it up. Two minutes to go in the game. Shelby gives it back to Alandra. Alandra back up to Shelby. Shelby dribbles it to the right side. Gets the ball knocked away, but is able to get it back. Alandra now with it. Alandra goes off to the left side from McKenzie. Back up for Alandra. Alandra looking for somewhere to go. Lady Senators still taking their offense very slowly here. Alandra now tries to dribble inside. Kicks it back out to Madison. Madison now gets into the paint. Tries to give it off for a bounce pass. Will be out of bounds, and it will be the Lady Wolfpack ball as now... Um, four substitutions for the Lady Senators and three substitutions for the Lady Wolfpack. As Madison and McKenzie, they both come out of the game along with Shelby and Alandra. So now will be a timeout called by the Lady Senators. It will be a full timeout, so we'll head to a commercial break and come back for the final minute 26 on West Washington Senator Radio. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. Gillstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gillstrap Motors. Expertise. And we're back. A little under a minute and a half left to go in this game. Lady Senators trail here 22 to 44 with Crawford looking like they will come out on top. Now a bunch of new faces in the game for both teams as um, you see Crawford trying to get the ball inside a, a little bit right here. Just kind of kicking the ball around looking inside at the post area for House as they try to throw it inside pass. It's tipped and taken away by the Lady Senators with just one minute to go as Eva now pushes it up. Ashley puts up a three-pointer. It is good. Yeah, and the Lady Senators got to be wondering where was this all game as that is the first three-pointer they have hit all night. There's now another turnover by um, by the um, Crawf by Crawford County, and a foul will be called on ten. Riley House, her third foul. As now with just 30 seconds to go and. Passes mishandled by the Lady Senators, but 
They were able to get it back as Lily drives inside, puts up the shot. No good, but a foul is called and she'll go to the line for two shots. One thing I do like with how the Lay Senators are closing this game out is they're getting a bit aggressive. They're taking shots that are open and trying to force some shots in the paint. So, something to carry into next game. That's what you always got to say at the end of games like this. Just try to build for next week. As Lily gets the first free throw to go. Now Lily with one more shot with 27 seconds to go. That one is no good. So now with just 20 seconds to go, might see Crawford just dribble um, the clock out. So now just kicking the ball around. Lady Senators down 44 to 26, and it looks like that will be the final score. And that will be the ball game. 44 to 26 is the final with Crawford County taking down the Lady Senators. Looking uh, here at the scoring, first for the um, Lady Wolf Pack, um, Riley House had eight points off the bench. Uh, Stutzman had eight points. Sturgeon had five points. Kirsch had five points. Stroud had ten points. And Herball had eight points. Um, for the Lady Senators, uh, Lily had one point, Shelby had one point, McKenzie with nine points, Madison with six points, Ashley with three points, and Ava with six points. Yeah, and the difference in this game ended up being that defensive intensity that Crawford was bringing, both with their length and then they were just smart about jumping into passing lanes, and that ended up costing the Lay Senators here tonight, but we hope to see them get a victory next time out. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in to the West Washington live stream for another um, Lady Senators basketball matchup, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Good night, folks.